Hey guys, what's up? It's Samantha, and today I'm going to be filming a video showing how I've sort of figured out the best way to do the layout in the neutral planner if you are not a person that wants to white out everything and is someone who doesn't use date headers and this video is probably going to be mostly for people that are coming from the colorful planner. I feel like people who have been using the other versions of the neutral planner that have been out over the past like couple of years are used to like planner science. I stuck with the colorful over the last couple years and the colorful was still the same Erin Condren format if you're used if you've been using Erin Condren for the last three four or five years where you had the like header box header box header box and you didn't have to like figure out where to place headers and stuff so I have this down to where the only um two headers that you have to like eyeball where to place them are these two. Me from the future as I'm editing this I just wanted to clarify when I was saying like these are the only two. Obviously if you place your boxes differently then that's going to impact which headers you are going to float. So anytime the only time you'll ever have to float a header would be if you put the box on the bottom. Okay just wanted to clarify that. Basically with the like doing the bottom washi you can line up the bottom washi with this dotted line down here and you will have a small gap between the bottom of the box and the bottom washi which like if you like that look you can go for that or if you want it butted up against the bottom of the box you do need to put the boxes down first before you place the washi strip if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I personally am the kind of person that I only white out the lines down here if I'm using like a washi tape where you can see the lines through it like this one. Um, so if I am using a darker washi tape or a sticker, like a washi sticker tape where you can't really see the lines through it, I don't really white it out personally. I don't white out the sidebar lines unless again instead of using a strip of like washi sticker I use like a washi tape where you can see the line through it so then I might just be whiting out like one or two lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with whiting out and I am I think going to leave the space between the box and the bottom washi you do still get like that little bit of line there, which again, if that's gonna bother you, you can wipe that out. And the other, the only other things I white out are this. And also this. Okay, so right off the bat, something that you can do is you can put all of the headers for the top and the bottom down. So you can see here you can line up the headers with like the top header the bottom of that with that line and this one the what was it, the top yeah the top of the header with that line so I'm gonna go ahead and place all of the top and bottom headers and then we'll place full boxes and that will impact how we put down the middle if that makes sense the middle header. So I'm going to go ahead and speed through this part and then I'll be back.
now we have all of the glitter headers down for the top and the bottom and now is like when you have to kind of jump back and forth between the full boxes and the glitter the remaining glitter headers for that middle section where was the other full box because I liked that one. Oh, here it is okay so how do I feel about that scene box because when I do scene boxes I do them across the top this has absolutely nothing to do with the new planner format it's just I think I'm gonna do the scene box I I just personally find it easier to like organize myself if I do like all the boxes at once and you can jump back and forth between like boxes and headers and boxers and he boxers and headers wow boxes and headers but I personally can barely say a sentence out loud while I'm putting a sticker down so I'm like doing this this way then it gives you like something to put the sticker off of I put that in the wrong spot so then doing this, you can just go in and like align all but this one and one other one with the bottom or top of the full box for the column. And then the one in the middle, you can kind of like these are the only two you really have to eyeball. And you can like if you wanted to, like you could use a ruler like on top like put like your ruler or something there so you have like an edge to put it up against I am going to just eyeball it though I have pulled out my ruler in the past when I was playing around and like trying to figure out the best way so then that'll be an eyeball one and I like having the header on either side done that way I can like line it up between the two I have like two edges on either side so it's not like lined up there and then you know askew elsewhere my nails are super long right now and I like can't grasp anything so tweezers are quite useful So we have like that and I'm not going to put glitter headers or anything down. The only thing then is because there's white out on the bottom, I will probably have some kind of half box, quarter box label little thing at the bottom and I will like leave that little gap between the bottom washi and whatever I put on the bottom so that it matches the full box but that will not get put in until I actually do that spread. So that's the only like white out there. Like here I left the lines like if you do this here then like the bottom of the box is just the washi. If you want to leave that space I did not like how those two little lines looked with the boxes there and so I just decided to white it out here. But it's all personal preference so I going back to personal preference so this is what I mean by like a ruler, which is like really anal, but also like this is me. So the one thing I do like this year is that the sidebar lines are actually the width of a full box finally. So it's easier to like keep things lined up all the way down. Um, and I before in my old planner always had the top of the full box on the sidebar aligned with the top of the header. I know some people have been like moving their sidebar up. I personally like to have room for deco and I think this allows for some play with larger deco or if you want to put the month there I'm sure there's shops that are going to be doing foiled months with like the date similar to how this thing communicates the month and year but without being insane or just like the month if you want to see the month there I'm sure there will be shops that have foil months that is what I'm trying to say I cannot communicate words effectively but I think this is really nice because it allows for like larger deco pieces like you can see 
there. And I think that's actually a, a really nice clean look to have like a strip of deco all the way across the top. And the dates are pretty unobtrusive this year. So then basically my sidebar is exactly the same as it was, except on the bottom there, it's whited out, which I think makes it a little trickier to line things up. But again, I'm also a stickler for lining things up in a way that I don't think a lot of other people are. I do not like eyeballing things. I like things to be very like at right angles with each other, so to speak. So I mean, you can see the lines a little bit through a light colored box like that. It personally doesn't bother me because I'm going to write something in every single one of those to do spaces and you can't really see them. This is a little crooked, like just see here. And then I will grab a strip of patterned washi again on the bottom here. And then it kind of covers up the white out. And there you go. It's a little crooked. And there's the sidebar for me, pretty much the exact same as before. The only thing that's different is I have to, before I always did my sidebar first, now I like to wait till I have a header down so that I can line it up. Um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do, well actually I won't, but like you can see here, like this is a really great way to use this space up here for large deco, cause I'm gonna, I always put in little foil bits. Like you can see I have silver stars there and I have, like the deco bits from this gold glitter, this is like champagne duochrome glitter or something, I forget. Um, a wiggle from Scribble Prince Co. I have all the little deco things up there. Um, but like I'll be able to place larger deco pieces up here, kind of have like, there. this one has smaller deco pieces, but sometimes there's kits with like a really big deco piece and that's a great place to put it. Um, but yeah, so that's sort of how I have figured out what to do as far as minimal whiting out and like the most efficient way to lay down a spread with the planner. And again, if I didn't do this scene box here, then I would have just like put that box down there and put the header on top of that instead of on the bottom of it. But I just think this is the easiest way. Then you only have to eyeball two headers easy peasy lemon squeezy and I actually am feeling a lot better I was very nervous about this just because I'm a person who like did almost no whiting out in a planner before so this is like feels more comfortable to me to not be like whiting out huge amounts of stuff and I was really worried about these like thick lines on the bottom showing through but you can see here like you can't see the lines at all it's fine I'm fine we're all gonna be fine so yeah um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you got something out of this video, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!